When someone stole a Canadian family's pet dog from their home, the victims went straight into detective mode. They checked their CCTV footage for clues, for instance, and quizzed neighbors for information. What's more, their investigation soon helped them to break the case of the kidnapped canine and also track the culprit down. That intrepid family are the Haskets, who back in 2014 lived in the city of Greater Sudbury in Ontario, Canada. They're made up of dad Neil, mom Tabita, and their four children. Their much-loved German Shepherd dog partner completed the clan at the time. And on one day in early April 2014, the Haskets went to visit a family member, leaving partner alone at home. But while the family had likely left the dog by himself on a number of previous occasions, with nothing untoward have happened, sadly things would turn out differently this time. Indeed, when the family returned to the house, it was immediately apparent that something was amiss. The Haskets soon discovered, moreover, that someone had broken into their home. And to make matters worse, there was no sign of partner anywhere. In fact, it appeared that whoever had targeted their abode had one disturbing item on their to-take list, that is, their beloved dog. Thankfully, though, the Haskets had the security of surveillance cameras monitoring their property. And understandably, Dad Neil's first instinct was to go and review the footage to find exactly what had transpired. However, there was perhaps little that could have prepared him for what he was about to see. As Neil examined the CCTV footage from the hours leading up to partner going missing, in fact, he noticed something unusual. Before the Haskets had even left for the family visit that day, a woman and her dog had entered their front yard. The dog walker had then made a beeline for partner and started to pet him. But while at first glance the woman's friendly gesture looked innocent enough, what happened next sparked Neil's suspicions, namely, Although the woman had fled the scene before the family locked partner in the house and headed out, she was later shown on the footage as returning to the home, this time without her dog. The CCTV video then reveals that the woman leaves the area once again without causing too much of a scene. In time, though, she returns with the man. The pair then enter the neighboring apartment building, which leads onto the back of the Haskett's house. And once there, the woman is seen attempting to gain access to the family home via the back door. However, her attempts to enter the property by this method failed, so she disappears from the scene for a while, only to return with another young gentleman. They are both captured on film approaching the front of the Haskett's home, and eventually, they get so close to the building that they disappear from the camera's view. Then a few moments later, the pair reappeared in the CCTV frame. This time, however, they are filmed walking away from the property, with partner in tow. Piecing the visual evidence together, Neil concluded that the man and the woman must have illegally gained entry through the front window of the house. But the Haskets weren't going to just sit idly by hoping the individuals concerned would come to their sense. So the family's desperate bid to find their beloved pooch began, and to that, they posted photos of partner online. That method eventually bore fruit. Moreover, as they would go on to receive dozens of reported sightings of the dog-napped animal in one particular part of the town. As a result, the family began driving around the area in hopes of spotting their pet for themselves. And sure enough, one of these forays of the family drove past a woman walking a German Shepherd on a nearby street. They also noted that someone had shaved the dog. But even though the canine didn't have long hair, Neil knew instantly that it was his pal partner. He was shaved almost completely bald, Haskett revealed to the local newspaper. His head wasn't shaved and his tail wasn't shaved, but the rest of his long hair was completely shaved off. And as he was convinced that he had located partner, Neil subsequently pulled over and approached the suspected dog napper on foot. Filming as he did so, the father of four confronted the woman while his children looked on from the car in alarm. But the suspect point blank denied that she had stolen the dog, claiming instead that she had rescued him from an animal shelter. So Haskett called the police there and then. And when the officers arrived on the scene, they seized the dog. The cops then took the German Shepherd to a nearby Martindale animal clinic. And it was there that Dr. Dan Ransbury confirmed that the dog was indeed partner by accessing the animal's microchip. Then, a little more than an hour after that, partner was back safely at home, recovering from his ordeal. Meanwhile, the female dog napper was identified as 50-year-old Heather Zephyr. Police later charged her with breaking in and entering the Haskett's home and the theft of partner. However, at the trial in November 2014, Zephyr asserted instead that she had been trying to help the animal who she claimed to have thought was being abused. I was only trying to save the dog, she told Ontario Court Justice Norman Gallaud, according to the Sadbury Star. 
Nobody was willing to help me. I just wanted to save the dog. Zephyr also maintained that she believed that the dog was in need of emergency medical care. However, Galad didn't buy her excuses. Raising his voice, the judge asked Zephyr, Do you have any pets? How would you like it if I went into your home and stole your pets? At the end, Zephyr pleaded not guilty to her charges but admitted to the lesser charge of committing a theft with a value of less than 5,000 Canadian dollars. As a result, she received a suspended sentence and one year of probation. During this time, she was ordered not to contact the Haskets and she additionally agreed to undergo treatment for her psychological and alcohol problems. Meanwhile, Partner settled back down to the agreeable routine of life at home with the Haskets. His hair regrown quite nicely, and despite their ordeal, the family bears no malice towards Zephyr. We want her to get help more than anything, Neil said to the Northern Life after the trial had ended. Obviously, she had some problems, and it's probably in the community's best interest that we find out what they are and be able to deal with them.